Hi everyone. Okay, so we're gonna do one more king plant today, okay? And it's this low line guy right here along the edges here. You see this guy right here? It's this this kind of spiky ones on the edges. The margins are spinulose. And we're gonna do this, we're gonna try the Woody Plants book again. Okay? Who wants to empty this one? Any takers? I can do it. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start in the major group key, right? shrub or tree with needle-like, scale-like, or awl-like leaves, usually evergreen, produce cone. Or, plants with leaves usually broad, occasionally needle or scale-like, or lacking. Some leaves modified as spines, stems usually woody, some succulent, produce flowers and fruits. So what do you think? Okay, B. B. We're going to keep a couple at two. Leaves arranged in basal rosettes of 10 or more, spear-like, grass-like, sometimes fleshy, flowers three morose. Versus? The leaves usually not arranged in basal rosettes of 10 or more, not spear-like or grass-like, sometimes fleshy, leaves sometimes absent or modified as spines. Okay, so flowers four or more. Are these in basal rosettes? No. No. So we're going to three. Plants tree-like, usually more than four meters tall at maturity, usually with a single trunk, occasionally multi-trunk. Plants uh, not tree-like, usually less than four meters tall. All right, so that one's easy, right? Yeah. We're going to four. Stem succulent, appearing leafless, more than 0.5 centimeters in diameter, leaves usually modified as spines, or stems and leaves not as above. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Are these succulent? Not as above, right? Okay, five. Stems vine-like, or plants, plants, shrubs, and sub-shrubs, not vine-like. You're correct, sub-shrubs, right? So going to 47, key, key six, page 47. Okay, key six. Leaves and or branching, habit usually opposite or world. Leaves and or branching, habit usually alternate, basal, or in loose rosette. Okay, are the leaves branching usually opposite or world? They Here's like a branching a point. Kind of leaf. Yeah. They look kind of opposite, but they're also uh, growing out of each other, so that's awkward. So it's at the top. So here's one of the little branches, right? <laughs> there. So they kind of appear almost coming out world at the top of a strong branchlet. So um, let's see, what couplet are we on now? We're on 1A, but we go down to group A. Yeah, group A. So then it's leaved mostly world or appearing so. Sorry, I'm okay. Oh, you're fine. Um, or leaves mostly opposite. Okay, so let's see if we can know if the leaves are opposite. Here's a good point. So like this one looks like they are, but those ones are also growing out of the same. So actually, I, I'm going to back up them myself. And this, this is a challenging one again because whether or not it's world or alternate, you have to kind of really look at lots of different examples. Because the leaves are arising out of the top of the branchlets here in a world fashion, but they are clearly alternate. So if that's the case then, are we going to go to group A, page 47, or couplet two? Let's go to couplet, let's go to couplet two. Where's, I'll do it. Wait, go to couplet two? Yep. Where's okay. couplet two? Oh, We're back at the top. Yeah. On the same page. Yeah. Okay, yep. I thought. <laughs> okay. Um, leaves compound or leaves simple and or basal. Okay, so I hope you guys are all with me getting down here. And what do you think? Is this compound or well, that means we need to find our axillary bud? 
This is compound. Have we queued this one out already? No, I don't think so. Okay, sorry. It's, it's definitely compound, so we're going to group B, page 56. Leaves palmate, trifoliate, or mostly so. Leaves pinately compound with 5 to 40 leaflets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you guys really think? large spread. Oh. Is it pinnate or palmate? Pinnate. Pinnate, pinnate. for sure. Oops. Going to 5. Plants not armed, or plants usually armed to some degree. What do you think? Not. <laughs> like time shot. What kind of arms are we talking about? I would here? say not armed, like thorn like thorns, kind of thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Is this I gonna is this gonna hurt you when you approach it? No. no. Um, the leaves are kind of armed. Based off the amount of times <laughs> you touched it, I'd say no. <laughs> I want you to come in, look at the margins, and run your hands along the margins and see what happens. Oh yeah. Will that hurt you? Oh, I guess if you're a small creature. <laughs> okay, well, on that one over there, there's some that are very, very yeah, obviously like, armed. Thing, this one is very pokey. It is very pokey. The margins are what we call spinulose. So it is armed. So armed? Definitely armed. Then, leaflets with prickles or spines. Leaflets lacking prickles or spines, but they sometimes occur elsewhere on the plant. Okay. 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 Yeah, they definitely have spines. Okay. Plants evergreen, leaves leathery with spinulose tooth margins. Sometimes glaco, but not woolly on the underside. <laughs> okay. Doesn't feel or woolly to plants me. deciduous. Prickles on the petioles and the veins of the lower surface of the leaf. Leaves gray or white woolly on the underside. Okay, so let's let's divide this couplet one by one. Are these leaves evergreen or deciduous? We don't know that yet because we haven't seen them fall off, right? But I'm telling you right now that they're evergreen. Really? Yep. What? And the leaves are leathery. You can feel them. They're quite hard. <laughs> and yeah, what about the margins? Where are the armaments? Are they on the margins or are they on the veins? Margins. On the margins. Margins, right? So in that way, we can definitely... And how about the word glaucus? What does that mean? No hair. Huh? Is it no hair? No, that's glabrous. Ah. Glaucus means kind of waxy or shiny types. Okay. And this is a little bit waxy. Okay. Um, on the top. Okay, so we're going to go for 12. Plants erect, usually more than 10 decimeters, decimeters tall at maturity. Leaflets blue glaucose with 5 to 7 spinose teeth. Why did you just say one more time? Yeah, I know. I did. Plants erect or decumbent, usually less than 5 decimeters tall at maturity. Leaflets dark green, sometimes reddish. With 12 to 14 spinulose teeth. But we can look at pictures. How many spines are there on the leaf? More than five, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks right. So, most likely, Berberus. Okay, so the other important thing to note is that this is a decumbent plant, okay? It's really kind of along the ground. Decumbent means that it does stand erect a little bit at the beginning, but then it kind of falls over. And you can see how this is definitely a, a ground-growing plant. All right. And it is less than five decimeters tall. And it has 12 to 14 spinulose teeth versus five, right? This is Berberus or Mahonia repens. It depends on who's talking to you. The genus is Berberus repens or Mahonia repens. And it is called the creeping creeping barberry or hmm. creeping Mahonia is the common name I know. <laughs> but um and it is in the family Berberidaceae. Berberidaceae. This one does produce little fruits that are dark brown. And they can be edible, I believe, but I wouldn't necessarily eat them. They're edible, someone yells. <laughs> Have you eaten them? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is this. Oh, creeping mahonia is what you have it on the list. Yeah, creeping mahonia is how I know it. Mm. 
and it's all and either Berberus repens or Mahonia repens. It depends on whether you believe it to be one genus or two. And that's it for this particular plant.